Hi everyone, two more examples left, so let's have a look at these. So it says a curve C with the equation y equals sine x over e to the 2x has a stationary point. So I'm looking at dy by dx is 0. Find the coordinates of p. Give your answers to 3 sig fig. Okay. Right, so f of x is sine x. Sine goes to cos. g of x is e to the 2x. G dashed of x is 2 e to the 2x. Because remember, you differentiate the power stick in the front. Right then, so that's written to the formula then. So the formula is f dashed of x, g of x. So cos x times by e to the 2x minus f of x times by e. So, 2 e to the 2x, sorry. Right. All over the bottom, e to the 2x, all squared. Right then. I'm going to. Now there's an argument for people will cancel out e to the 4x or e to the 2x on the bottom. But we're going to be a little bit more safe here. I'm just going to take out the e to the 2x as a factor. And I'm going to leave it as over e to the 4x there. Now, if I want it stationary when dy by dx is 0. I can put that equation equal to 0. If I multiply 3 by the bottom line, that kind of disappears. And I've got an e to the 2x cos x minus 2 sin x. 0. I've got an e to the 2x is 0, which we know has no solution because e to the 2x is greater than 0. The thing is, right, if I had it cancelled here, I'll lose the fact that I might have had a, a solution here. I haven't, but I might have done. So you've just got to be a little bit careful with it. Then I've got the cos x minus 2 sin x is 0. Now that looks like a, a tan type question. So if I've got cos x is equal to 2 sin x, and I have it as sin x over cos x, so that equals a half. So I've got a half equal to tan x. Um, what we have in radians from 0 to pi. So I get inverse tan of that is 0.4636. That's for x. If I sub that back into the original equation, making sure I'm in radians, the completed pack tells me it's 0.177. So we know it's stationary. That's not point, what was it saying there before? Three six figures said, didn't it? So four six four, not point one seven seven. There you go. I've done four minutes, so we'll give you that time to this next question then. So it says find the set of values for increasing. So we know it's increasing when dy by dx is greater than zero. So let's have a look then. So f of x is 2 plus 3x squared, f dash of x is 6x, g of x is 3x minus 1, g dash of x is 3, so that's my little bit of that. Should we really put increase in there? So it's like, so I'm doing what we're random. Oops. Well, that's the formula. This is the formula I've never really remember. 
So let's have a look. So we go f dash the next to the next. So dy by dx is 6x times 3x minus 1 minus f of x, which is 2 plus 3x squared times by 3. Over the bottom bit, uh, 3x minus 1 all squared. Have you noticed I put that in there, x not equal to a third? That's because I made the bottom equal to zero, and that's where the asymptote is. Right, let's do a little bit of expanding my brackets then. So dy by dx is, so that's going to be 18x squared minus 6x minus 6 minus 9x squared over 3x minus 1 all squared. So dy by dx, I'm going to tidy it up, is 9x squared minus 6x minus 6 all over 3x minus 1 all squared. Right, so we know that it's increasing when this 9x squared minus 6x minus 6 all over 3x minus 1 squared is greater than 0. So I chuck the 3x minus 1 over, I've just got the 9x squared minus 6x minus 6 is greater than 0. Uh, if I put that in poly, it's not ideal, but it gives me roots as 1 plus or minus root 7 over 3. So what I've got is a quadratic inequality where I'm looking above. So I've got something, so, so what's root 7 then? So root 7 is 2 and a bit, isn't it? So there's going to be a negative root and a positive root. So that would be the 1 minus root 7 over 3. And that would be the 1 plus root 7 over 3. I want to look where the graph is above. So I'm looking at these bits here. So I've got, in terms of an answer, I've got x is less than 1 minus root 7 over 3, or x is greater than 1 plus root 7 over 3. And I'll wrap that around with a set notation. There you go. That's not too bad, is it? Yeah. I guess. Easy for me to say. Right, so there's a question here, same idea, look at this, look, so, so it doesn't make the bottom into zero and, and define it on the asymptote. Make sure you have a look at this one, have a go at it, follow what it's got here. I think that's the end of that lesson. Uh, look, that's got one in between it. Uh, I think it is, I think that's it then. Questions and uh, exam questions. Right, well done everybody, bye bye.